Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Masolat Visual. Uh, we come back again with another Akiad tip and trick. In today's video, we'll be covering Akiad construction simulation add-on or a process of, you know, animating your construction process. So we call it the Akiad simulation. Um, but for you to get to this, this level, or for you to arrive at animation that's simulating your construction process, you need to model well, you need to really model well, and everything you need to put on its layer. You need to use layers and, you know, model well with arcade elements, define your construction process with arcade elements. So, if at all you need to, you know, learn modeling, we have a, a course running and a template that will help you uh, model well and enhance your modeling skills, your BIM skills. So first of all, there's a sample project that we did. I think if you follow our channel, this is a familiar project. We uh, made quite a few videos of it, uh, the quantification process and you scan to beam. And now again, we come again with the construction simulation of which uh, you, you'd love to experience your design before, you know, breaking ground. So maybe your clients would love to see this, you know, the way you develop projects to your clients need to be fancy and uh, productive and, you know, all right, let's get into it. Um, this is project as I was showing you here, like uh, every element is on its layer. So that's what you need to know. That's what you need to uh, familiarize yourself with. So yeah, let me get you through the construction simulation process. So for you to reach a uh, construction simulation process, you need to go to document and then listings and then construction simulation below there and then that's how you get to it and then you can open you can show you know you can create a, a project a simulation like you need to create it first and then when 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 the dialog box opens for the simulation you'd see uh, how to create a task and you know that's just about it. For you to simulate, you need to create a task. So this is the dialog box, it opens. And then what you do is, uh, you, you assign elements. You know, you, you create a new task, and then you assign, you assign, this is the, the task, you know, what you, the element to, to the task. So first of all, you say new, and then maybe, what, what's that? It's a mesh, or it's excavation, it's a ground. That's the first text of the project. So that's what you do. And then you, you set a type of the, you know, the building type and the process of the, the, your design. So this thing is building. And then you set your dates. You set your dates. And then progress. That's how you measure your progress. And then link. That's how you, you select the item you want to link to a task that you have created. So that's it. So first task, I was creating uh, the mesh, the excavation of the ground. So that's the first task. And then the second task, you just go again, you click new task. And then the second task was uh, footing. And then that's it. I click footing, I create a new task. And then uh, type of the thing is building. I'm building, right? This thing is a construction simulation. It's a, it's a uh, what you call, a completion task. So what you do is you set start date and finish date. So let's say for instance, um, I start on October, my project starts on October. So the footing process maybe take, takes five days. So that's what you need to know. Uh, that's what you do. Yeah, that's what you do. Every element you assign task, date of completion, start date, and then you link, that's what you do. You link the elements associated with the uh, current task and then 
yeah, that's the the, the the construction simulation will be in that hierarchy, and then you end up maybe with 10, 15 tasks, with ending maybe seven, eight months as long as, t- and then it measures progress for you. Let's say you started your project, and then it'll show you where 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 you know progress at end, and then what you do is you link assign tasks. But for you to, to assign tasks, for you to do this construction process, it's uh, that's an important note. It only happens when you're on the floor plan. And then you can unlink and delete between elements if you have done a mistake or something. And then you could, you know, uh, show selected tasks and then select linked items and stuff like that. And then you can even delete, uh, you know, the task you've already created by if you know you've done a mistake or something. Yeah. So let's say we've we're about this is a quick 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 uh step by step guide uh which uh I hope you'd find it handy. Okay. And then yeah that's about it. About creating tasks. Now you can now save this task. You go back to uh what you call to the construction machine dialog box and then you save yeah <laughs> and then now that we are done with uh, assigning tasks and you know creating the tasks and all that we can now create an animation and then to create an animation you go back uh, to you know document listing extras then construction machine then the animation command and then that what you, when you are there in the dialog box that comes up you can choose how to create your animation using the camera path and then you know a 3d view document or the rendering file and then yeah you save that's it that's, that's just it and then you create you save simple and then your this is we are using the current view, not the camera path. So it's animating using a camera path here. No, like a, a current view. That's why it's not animating. That's why it's not going around. Yeah, and then we can create another animation using camera path. You know, so documents elements that are coming through the hierarchy of the assigned tasks. So the elements are coming in I hope you could see you know the roof coming in so but now I I'll, I'll, I'll prefer the using animating the camera path okay so let me show you how to the animated camera path now the finished product now since you you know this is just an example a quick you know hope that is handy if you like this video please uh, like leave us a like and if you're new here please subscribe um, this is the end product of the animation this one is uh, animated using the camera path as you could see but yeah this was just a showing you guys that it's possible to create an animation I'm sure you'd do better <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you do better this was just uh, showing you guys what uh, I can, can do as animations as well you see it's tied with dates those dates that you were punching in and then this other animation I'm just showing you uh, still uh, you know current view not animating the cameras yeah so that's basically it I just wanted to show you guys the there's a trip and trick you know, just presenting your, your design better. And don't forget to download our template. The link is in the description. Uh, get fully, get creative, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And yeah, like either the cost running, I get cost running and, and uh, get yourself the cost and the template if you want to improve your productivity your arcade workflows and then yeah i'll see you in the next video guys this was just a 
quick, quick, quick uh, video demonstration of the construction simulation. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay blessed, stay creative. See you in the next video.